two weeks ago was $23,000 in front of a live audience. And this week is 30 racks in front of a live audience. It is not a game. You guys know who I am. And if you don't, my name is Chris Swaggy Williams. I've been trading for the last eight years. I made a lot of money through trading. And I've also taught a lot of people who now make a lot of money through trading. That's all I like to say. My talks, my video, my channel is solidified. It's not a game here. Right into this video, right? So this week, technically last week, because we're in a new week, you know, this week or the last week of January, um, made a good amount of profit on GBP AUD. I made 250 uh, plus pips on one trade, 150 plus pips on the other trade. And then I actually lost about 4,000 on GBP USD. We will talk about that in this video as well. But before we get into that, I want to talk to you guys about a special. What is that sound? It's like a vent. Do they have central AC? I don't know. I'm not sure. Can you hear that in the sound? Yo, yo, one, two, three, four. I don't think I'll be able to because okay. I use like the AI stuff okay. that'll make it better. We'll get right back into it. So <laughs> before we got rudely interrupted by we don't know what. Anyway, um, quick announcement. The live trading lab price change because we have a massive, massive announcement on February 5th. The biggest announcement that I've ever made in my life will be dropping on February 5th. Until then, the lab closes for enrollment on February 3rd at midnight. And the price for the lab is $59. And the reason for that is because this announcement on the 5th is so massive. I don't want people in my lab to kind of like try and like worry about this while worrying about the next thing. No, like we're going to lower the price in the lab. We're going to get, you know, a lot of you guys in there. We're going to teach you guys as much as you guys can and, and help you guys make as much money as you can. And then once the announcement on the 5th comes, you guys will see. We don't play no games over here. So go to www.livetradinglive.com and secure it. And I've gotten a lot of questions on, okay, when enrollment opens back up, you know, is it going to be 59 again? No, it's going to go right back to 175, maybe even $200 a month, um, which is still better than most groups out there. Um, but if you lock in now, it'll be $59 for you forever until you cancel. Either here or there. That, like that countdown enrollment date before the lab closes for two and a half months has nothing to do with February 5th. I don't know about you guys. I'm going to get right into this video, but I want to let you guys know, February 5th, please understand it is very, very serious. So please mark your calendars. All right, to the video. So GPAUD, right? 30 racks, right? How did that happen? Okay, cool. So I want to preface this by saying a week ago, now I'm saying a week ago from the trade, right? A week ago from the trade, I actually lost on GBPAUD. I was very, very, very early on it for some reason and it it annoyed me a lot like this right here right when price is coming back down and also on the purposes also at the same time by saying when i made my last video at the 23k in front of a live audience a lot of people were saying you know well where's the live audience and clearly like you didn't even you know uh do much analysis on here yes this video is not an analysis video just so you guys like i can understand and can see me this is not an analysis video this is a recap of what i did in the live trading lab big difference right it's a big difference between hey I went over this live for over an hour for several days back to back to back in the lab. And I'm giving YouTube and you guys watch me for free. You guys are not paying me $59 a month, right? For free, a 10 minute recap of what happened. So I want you guys to understand that, oh, you guys are not the live audience. I'm making 30K in front. No, this is just a recap. And it's a very valuable recap. So I advise you to pay attention and not worry about where. No, guys, it's in the lab. Having said that, I was very, very early on GPAUD, right? When price was coming down here, and I don't want to bar replay this and go back in, in hindsight or anything like that, but this is good. When price was down here, price was below this moving average. I had a whole consolidation area. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got about nine to 10 wicks, nine to 10 days in a row where it just wicked down there. Now, having said that, we still got some wicks to the top, and I did feel like we were not done with this downtrend, right? Like, granted, having said that, you won't be able to see this. Like, this trend line was not connecting. When price was over here, right? It just came up. So me, in my opinion, I thought, okay, the most it was going to do was here because we got this high right here, then this lower high right here, and then we got this lower high right here, right? So my mind was just like, okay, we can place this trend line from here to here, A to B to C, and then I entered, right? Wrong decision. Price uh, rejected and then pushed all the way through this trend line and broke above this consolidation area. Now, I can close that out lost that trade it was all good but price came all it did was retest his monthly resistance at 1.80 which allowed us to have a fibonacci from a to b to c 61.8 extension all the way down to d which is our take profit 
And once we got this candlestick right here and price continued down, I knew for a fact, all right, now is the time to get in. And now is the time to execute this trade that was supposed to happen last week, this week. So I had two entries. I had an entry at 1.75800, right, right here. And I had an entry at 1.7500. The 1.75800 uh, entry was a market execution. I just got right in. 1.75000 was a sell stop. And I don't really use sell stops. I use like sell limits and buy limits. I don't really use sell stops and buy stops. But I knew price was dropping so dramatically. And I knew there was no chance that it was going to come down here, reject and come back up here and create like a third, like lower high. No, like price was, was, was dropping, right? So getting in, this is one of the things I talked about in the, the four secrets um, hidden. And I think it's one of my latest videos. I've kind of can put that on the screen as well. Um, sometimes you just got to get in. Sometimes you understand where the market is going to go. You just have to get in, right? Like, and, and that's the benefit that us swing traders have is that we can just get in the market without necessarily a big, big, big worry because we can be okay with the drawdown. If you are a scalper, you can't just do that. You have to find the most perfect entry possible. If you are a day trader, you got to be a little bit mindful about that because you may have a, a stop loss that's 30 pips, you know, high or low, depending on if it's uptrend or downtrend. But as a swing trader, we can have a stop loss of 60, 70, even 80 pips. Why? Because we're getting 250 pips, right? Which is automatically a one to three risk to reward ratio. We're getting 320 pips, which is a one to four risk to reward ratio. And that's the perk of being a swing trader, which is why I advise everybody, you know, once you make all the money you can make on a funded account, whether it's, you know, 30,000, 40,000, 50,000, even 100,000, keep that funded account, but take, you know, most of that money out and put that into a live account and then start swing trading it because you can get your life back, right? You can get your life back and, 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 you know, leave that job have money like working for you on the back end while you're still out there spending time with your family and going on vacations. Whereas a scalper and a swing trade and a day trader, excuse me, you don't really have that luxury because you're glued to the charts uh, so much. Now back to the charts, right? Got in, my take profit was 1.72695. To be fair, I did have this trend line, not, not trend line, excuse me, this consolidation area right here. So I had like, again, we're talking hindsight, right? Like realistically, oh, this is deleted. Sorry, guys. Basically, it was just this, right? It was just this. This wasn't involved. So all I did was mirror and cloned it to get a, a take profit, right? And it was right here, right? Having said that, all I did was drag this uh, over, cloned it, dragged it below. Price still got lower, right? My first take profit was this major area right here. Second one would have been here. It didn't get that low and price came back up. Um, you kind of saw the writing on the wall because this is a daily time frame. I didn't wait for the daily time frame to close. You, you, you scale down, you can kind of see like the writing on the wall as price is coming back up and the price just starts to shoot up and break above this moving average. Now, having said that, I want you guys also to know as well that I talk about this all the time, even in that video as well, where it's like in that 23,000 from a live audience where I said, if you have a set goal on how much money you want to make in the market and you make that money, get out. I don't care. Nobody get out. Like if you want to keep 80% or excuse me, take 80% out and leave 20% on, that's fine with me. That's the same thing as getting out, like take partial profit. I'm cool with that, but get out. And far too many people are, are up so much money and so much money can even be $500. And then they just leave it on and leave it on and leave it on. And then they wake up and now they're losing $500 as opposed to, you know, taking, like, let's say your goal was to make 500 closing it all or taking 350 and putting it into your account on the other 150 run and putting that, you know, stop loss and break even, call it a day. Um, so for me, being up 30K was, it was a big deal. Having said that, let's get to the loss, right? Because a lot, what a lot of people think, they all of a sudden think that when you're a great day trader, you always win or swing trader, you just always win. That's not the case. Like we lose, we lose a good amount as well. The, 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 the difference is, is our risk to word ratio was always a one to three and one to four, sometimes a one to 2.9 sometimes, uh, which means that I can lose three times in a row if I want. If I win one time, it automatically negates those three losses. Um, that, is, that doesn't mean uh, we lose a lot. What that just means is when you keep your risk to reward ratio at a, at a good, you know, balance the entire time, you don't deviate away from it. You don't have to worry about losses as much, right? GU, and we're going back to the daily. I also get this question a lot where it's like, do you trade on the daily? No, I don't trade on the daily. It's just easy for me to analyze it. See, this is a clear uptrend on the daily time frame. Whereas on, on a 30 minute time frame, how am I going to analyze this? Like, tell me, tell me what, what does it look like? You can't tell me this is an uptrend or a downtrend, right? This is nothing. You know, one, it's, it's so, it's so much chaos going on. It's just consolidation is moving sideways. Whereas on a daily time frame, I can tell you flat out, oh, it's moving up and it's a little bit of consolidation. I can tell you both. 
Um, so I just analyze on a daily, um, get my confirmation on the four hour, kind of enter on a two hour. Having said that, GU, I made like kind of an amateurish move because I was, I was so like gung ho on jumping the gun. I was so confident that GU was going to get to 122, let alone 121, 500, which is why I have this alert here a little bit. I thought it was going to come down at my alert is like maybe buy and then come back up and, and rally up to 125. Um, we got this double top right here. Um, and when we got the double top right here because of this, when price come, came back down, um, instead of waiting for the daily close, right? Or like, a, even though I get my confirmation in a four hour, like sometimes I'll wait for the daily close instead of waiting for that. One of the, the, the cons to one of my advice, which is like, sometimes you just got to enter when you're so confident is sometimes it can go against you. Right. And that was me just entering, knowing that it was going to go down and got burned. It did not go down. Right. So lost 4k. Um, but it got outweighed by uh, what I made on GBP AUD, which we've shown on the screen several times. So. Um, that was, uh, GP, AUD and GU. And, and I was, let me go in a little bit further analysis before I end the video on GU on why I thought it was going, going to go down. Right. So GU, the high that it's made, you know, last year and in, in 2022, I mean, the high before dropping down and collapsing was 125, 125, 700, right? So we were approaching 125 levels again, but over here, it couldn't get higher from what it did last December. It got to 124, 200 and got right here again. And I thought it was going to collapse, right? Having, having said that, I am very aware that the pound has been dropping ever since I've been trading, you know, Forex, right? You go to the weekly time frame, you look at this, the pound has been dropping since literally, oh, this, this is not even that long, there we go right here. It's been dropping literally since 2007. And I personally have been trading Forex since 2014. It's been nonstop dropping. So technically I'm always just bearish to you. I just always am, right? Like I I really don't, don't, don't buy to you that much just because of my preconceived notions and biases on it's supposed to go down it's gu what else do you expect and that's not necessarily the right way to go about certain things um but make you, you mix that in with you know we got a double top up here we got this consolidation and then price is is planting down here this is somewhat of a of a it was somewhat of a of an evening star right somewhat of an evening star and then we got this full-on mariposa candle coming down and then breaking below this moving average that's like five different confluences i just named and I can live with I can live with a loss if if that happens, right? So GU was a loss, GA was uh, a win, um, and again on this live I just called the live. It's funny because I just did a live stream about what on the lab, right? On what GA is going to do this session, like this session this week, and what AU is going to do, and then not even twenty minutes later, it did exactly that, which is crazy. Like I can't see GA get, uh, getting up to one seventy six five before coming back down to one seventy five flat. I said GA is going to push up pushing up for au i think there's a chance i may be bearish on this and bearish at least to 0.70 flat oh beautiful right on the call i said it'll get to 0.70 and it's doing that right on the call it, it didn't go to the exact uh levels i said it, was, uh, it would get to because it was still pushing towards it in the webinar like it was still pushing towards levels but i'm pretty positive by in the tonight and tomorrow it'll get to those levels at the end of the day so yeah so that is gbp usd that is gbp aud um those are the only two pairs i've traded recently AU, I've been very, very adamant on it reaching 0 0.71500, and it did that. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get in the trade on on AU. Um, there was just no place for me to put my stop loss. Um, it just kept pushing up and pushing up and pushing up, so I was just very, very patient. However, uh, my analysis on what AU is going to do, full analysis, which I just did today, is on the lab, www.livetradinglive.com. Enrollment closes February 3rd at midnight, which is technically February 4th, but February 3rd at midnight. And then we are closing until, I believe, May. I believe late April, early May is when we'll open back up. And the price will not be $59 no more. It'll be 150 175 200 um, a month because that massive announcement we're dropping on the 5th will be the craziest thing we, we've ever done. Uh, if you guys have been following me on this journey for a very long time, you guys know that I'm very specific on what I get involved in. And I'm very, very proud of this one more than anything else I, I've done. And um, by the time the lab opens back up, it'll, it'll be whole, it'll be a whole, a whole different story um but right now it's 59 and it'll always be 59 for you um for locking in um but other than that that was 30 racks in front of a live audience and again the live audience is in the lab it's not on youtube so i don't want anybody commenting here saying well where was the live audience well where's the live trade guys this is a recap this is youtube this is free for you guys i'm trying to go kind of going over why i thought certain pairs are going to do what it wants to do let me go over ga just real quick before i end this video um Cause I don't think, well, I did give an analysis. I did. I told you guys exactly why I thought it was going down with the lower highs below the, below the moving average. We had this consolidation. 
price retrace 61.8 extension to come in. Okay, cool. I want to make sure that I gave you guys some announcements on why I decided to get in certain pairs so you guys can get a lot of value from this video and, and not just, you know, watch a recap. I want you guys to get value from this video, apply it to your own trading, and then and scale up, scale up as much as you can. Um, otherwise, I really appreciate you guys for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, I will see you guys in a few days with this major, major announcement. Connor, please cue Chris Jericho countdown. Thank <laughs> you.